Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today's subject will be something that I find really hard. This is the thing I struggle the most with. Non-metallic metal. We will see in this video silver and gold on Cobra Mode Duck. I am in no way a master of non-metallic metal. So you are kind of with me into the struggle of learning that technique and I hope that my journey into it will help you guys to understand it a little bit better. So let's go to the video. Here I am back again. I had it written in front of me and I skipped it again. So if you guys like what I'm doing, the content I'm doing for the channel and you want to encourage me, please consider following, subscribing, ringing the bell, anything that is in the corner there of the screen, that will help me a lot. Now, video please. Okay, let's start this. I started with a base coat of scale 75 petroleum gray. As I want to make some kind of warm silver, I will try to get uh, grays that have almost no blue in it. So once my base coat with petroleum gray is done, I am adding brown gray from, from scale 75 and I will aim to the edges. So now I am painting uh, the belt buckle and you will see that I will do all the edges and I will make every part that is facing the light direction already lighter. I will not be touching the areas that are really at the opposite of the light source. I am then adding light gray from Valero into my mix to get it brighter. You will see that I'm jumping quite bright in color to get contrast because this is the key for non-metallic metal. You need to have contrast between your colors. So once again, I will be aiming at the edges and the areas that are facing the direct light. I don't want to have a very clean metal with uh, nice blendings. What I want here is to get contrast and easy reading. It's really important to not use pure white right now. I am using, if I have to get brighter areas, I will use ivory, but not pure white. You keep the pure white only for the final reflection dots that you will see a little bit later. I'm on the final touches of the belt buckle. I will then paint the breastplate, but I will accelerate a lot more as this is kind of the same 
as the belt buckle I just painted. So silver is about to be done right now. You could add uh, colors to it to give some reflection and things like that. I am not at that level yet. I just want to get some kind of painting that is actually looking like something metallic. So I will leave it like this and I will start painting the gold. I apply a base coat of P3 Umbral Umber everywhere I want my gold. Once my brown base coat is done, I'm mixing golden yellow from Valero into my brown and I'm starting making my highlights. So once again you will see, if you don't follow those, you will find that the non metallic is actually not looking good because you will not you will not understand the reflections so pay attention to where i am putting the highlights i'm always trying to make them all in the same direction i am also leaving the parts that are directly opposed to the lighting source very dark I'm now starting to add pure golden yellow. So I'm just going up with my highlights in the same place, I just made them a little bit smaller.
I am now mixing Tenera Yellow from Scale 75 with my Golden Yellow and I will make smaller highlights once again. The important thing is to highlight almost every edges so you have a good reading of the pieces you are painting. Here I am adding ivory to my Tenere Yellow to make my final highlights. As a final step, I am using almost pure ivory to make some dots and some final reflection everywhere, so it looks shiny. Here we go, we got some silver and some gold non-metallic metal dawn. I will have uh, much more to do with this model, but that will be the same everywhere. I hope you did enjoy that video, I did not cut it too much, so you can see the old process. I hope you did learn a few things, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, goodbye.